Hi and welcome back. We're in Ezekiel 24 and 25 today. Uh, St. Patty's. I hope everybody's being safe. Um, that's a good time, but it ends well. They make it home and and, and all of that. <laughs> and um, I'm going to give a quick prayer of praise just because it's been a quiet day. I've been kind of lazy and it's been a good day. So wherever you are, I hope you're having a good day too. Whenever you read this or take a listen to this, um, just know I hope you're having a good day. So please join me. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. I give you praise for all of your blessings upon me, my family and friends, and upon the viewer, their family and friends. I pray for their circumstance, whatever it is, and there's something troubling them, may they put it at your feet and have faith that all will be well. Thank you for today. I pray that everybody makes it home safely from whatever celebrations they're at. May you bless this reading. May it be your message that is heard and not my own. Thank you for calming our hearts and our minds so that we can better receive, understand, and I pray one day share. It is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, 24, symbol of the cooking pot. Again, in the ninth year, in the tenth month, on the tenth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, write down the name of the day. Of the day, this very day, the king of Babylon started his siege against Jerusalem. This very day, and utter a parable to the rebellious house, and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Put on a pot, set it on, and also pour water into it. Gather pieces of meat in it, every good piece, the thigh and the, sh and the, sh and the shoulder. Fill it with choice cuts. Take the choice of the flock. Also pile fuel bones under it. Make it boil well and let the cuts simmer in it. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, woe to the bloody city, to the pot whose, whose scum is in it and whose scum is not gone from it. Bring it out piece by piece on which no lot has fallen for her blood in her midst. She set it on top of a rock. She did not pour it on the ground to correct with the dust that it may raise up fury and take vengeance. I have set her blood on top of a rock that it may not be covered. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city. I too will make the pyre great, heap on the wood, kindle the fire, kick the meat well, mix in the spices, and let the cuts be burned up. Then set the pot empty on the coals, that it may become hot and its bronze may burn, that its filthiness may be melted in it, that its scum may be consumed. She has grown very, she has grown weary with lies, and her great scum has not gone from her. Let her scum be in the fire in your filthiness and his lewdness, because I have cleansed you and you were not cleansed. You will not be cleansed of your filthiness anymore till I have caused my fury to rest upon you. I, the Lord, have spoken it. It shall come to pass and I will do it. I will not hold back, nor will I spare, nor will I relent according to your ways and according to your deeds. They will judge you, says the Lord God. The prophet's wife. Also, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, behold, I take away from you the desire of your eyes with one stroke, yet you shall neither mourn nor weep, nor shall your tears run down. Sigh in silence, make no, make no mourning for the idol. I'm so sorry. Make no mourning for the dead. Bind your turban on your head and put your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your lips and do not eat man's bread of morrow. I'm not doing too well today in this reading. It says right there, and do not... Do not eat man's bread of sorrow. So I spoke to the people in mourning, and at the evening my wife died. And the next morning I did as I was commanded. And the people said to me, Will you not tell us these things? Tell us what these things signify to us that you have so, that you have. And the people said to me, Will you not tell us what these things signify to us that you behave so? Then I answered them the word of the Lord, come to me saying, speak to the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, behold, I will profane my sanctuary, your arrogant boast, the desire of your eyes, the delight of your soul, and your sons and daughters whom you left behind shall fall by the sword, and you shall do as I have done. You shall not cover your lips nor eat man's bread of sorrow. Your turban shall be on your head and your sandals on your feet. You shall neither mourn nor weep, but you shall pine away in your iniquities and mourn with one another. Thus, Ezekiel is a sign to you according to all that he has done, you shall do. And when this comes, you shall know that I am the Lord God. And you, son of man, will not be in the day 
when I take from them their stronghold, their joy and their glory, the desire of their eyes and that on which they set their minds, their sons and their daughters, that on the day one will escape, one who escapes will come to you to let you hear it with your ears. On the day your mouth will be open to him who has escaped, you shall speak and no longer be mute. Thus you will be assigned to them and they shall know that I am the Lord. Let's go ahead and read 25. Proclamation against Ammon. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, set your face against the Ammonites and prophesy against them saying to the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, because you said aha against my sanctuary when it was profaned and I against the land of Israel, when it was desolate and against the house of Judah, when they went into captivity, indeed, therefore I will deliver you as a possession to the, to the men of the east and they shall set their encampments among you and make their dwellings among you. They shall eat your fruit and they shall drink your milk. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels and Ammon a resting place for the flocks. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Excuse me, I'm recording my reading son. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. For thus says the Lord God, because you have clapped your hands, stamped your feet and rejoiced in heart with all your disdain for the land of Israel. Indeed, therefore I will stretch out my hand against you and give you as plunder to the nations. I will cut you off from the peoples and I will cause you to perish from the countries. I will destroy you and you shall know that I am the Lord. Proclamation against Moab, verse eight. Thus says the Lord God, because Moab and Seir say, look, the house of Judah is like all the nations. Therefore, behold, I will clear the territory of Moab of cities of the cities on its frontier, the glory of the country, Beth Jeshemoth, Bel Mion, and Kerjathine. To the men of the east, I will give it as a possession together with the Ammonites, and the, and the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Proclamation against Adam. Thus says the Lord God, because of what Adam did against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and is greatly offended by avenging itself on them. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand against Adam, cut off man and beast from it and make it desolate from Taman. Dedan shall fall by the sword. I will, make, I will lay my vengeance on Adam by the hand of my people Israel, that they may do in Adam according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know that my vengeance says the Lord God. They shall know my vengeance, says the Lord God. Proclamation against Philistia. Thus says the Lord God, because the Philistines dealt vengefully and took vengeance with a spiteful heart to destroy because of the old hatred. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will stretch out my hand against the Philistines and I will cut off the Cherethites and destroy the remnant of the seacoast. I will execute great vengeance on them with furious rebukes and they shall know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon them. That was 24 and 25. As always, take care of yourself. God bless you. Can Bye. I read?